It's asking if Rawls' theorem can be applied to the function cosine x on the closed interval from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So solution. So in this problem, the answer is yes. Uh, how do I know that? Well, let's go through and actually check all the conditions. So the first condition is that f should be continuous. So f is continuous on this interval here. So we have to ask ourselves, is that true? Well, yeah, it's the cosine function, right? It's nice and pretty and wavy. Uh, there's no holes or breaks. So the first condition of Rawls' theorem certainly checks. Two, we have to determine if f is differentiable on the open interval. So negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Well, absolutely, right? Everyone knows that the derivative of cosine is negative sine. Uh, there's no sharp edges, there's no jagged edges, so it's nice and smooth, right? It's differentiable. And three, we have to check if the endpoints are the same. We have to check that f of negative pi over 2 is equal to f of pi over 2. Well, f of negative pi over 2, that's the cosine of negative pi over 2. And f of pi over 2, that's the cosine of pi over 2. Well, the cosine of negative pi over 2, that's 0, right? Think of the unit circle. Here's the unit circle. Let's think about it. Negative pi over 2 is right here. Cosine is the x-coordinate. The x-coordinate here is 0. Cosine of pi over 2 is here, right? Here's pi over 2. And it's the x-coordinate. What's the x-coordinate here? 0. So it's 0 equals 0, which is true. So all three conditions check. So the answer is yes. Rawls' theorem can be applied. What does that mean? That means there's a number somewhere here where the derivative of this function is equal to 0. And I hope this helps someone out there.